Today on the Bells of Show, we're gonna open this pack and you see what's really going on. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, we're going to slap a couple heads on this old LS here and start getting things back together a little bit because I got a few things in that I can do that now. Thank God. It took forever, but it is Christmas and things are slow. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you like this video. So here we go. First of all, I ordered some copper gasket spray. Some guys use this, some guys don't. I'm gonna spray it on my head gaskets before I install them, just to give them that little extra bit of seal. I got the ARP Ultra Torque compound, which I'm gonna use on the studs. But in the meantime, I did get in some pretty fancy heat boots for the spark plug wires to keep them from getting burnt on the headers, exhaust manifolds, or whatever. Now these came from Amazon, of course, and they weren't too bad in price but they're pretty nice boots. Right? They feel good, and they're definitely good quality, actually, I'm surprised. That'll be the next thing, they probably won't freaking fit. So let's try one out and see what happens. So hopefully these will go in here, and they'll slide through and come out the other end so we can make them work. Uh-oh, freak. I wonder if that will come off. Well, that boot stays on, that boot stays on. So we gotta try to get that through that little hole. You know what? I don't even think these are gonna friggin' work, Jim. Guess I should have maybe ordered boots for 10 point spark plug wires. Oh, wait a minute, it might go. Might have to rub them and caress them a little bit, but we might get them through. Oh, God. Well, if anybody needs any boots for their wires, I have some. So uh, message me below and I'll give you a good deal on them. They don't look like they're gonna go on my 10 point fours. Why would they go on my 10 point fours? That's what happens when you don't read the fine print. Plus, that tells you something there too, okay? Man, they're so close. If it didn't have that little ring in there, it'd probably go. Pull them inside out for a minute here. See what's really going on. Holy, they look the same. How did they do that? Those guys are nifty little buggers there. Oh well, we'll figure that out later because I want to get to this. Let's go over here and we'll put in the other head studs. So if you look down here, hey, listen to me, camera. What's really going on? Holy. So if you look down here, I've already got these head studs in, I do. So we're gonna put these ones in over here and then we'll install the head gaskets, wipe it all off and make sure everything's good. So we'll wipe it all off first and we'll grab some air blowage because we're gonna need that to blow out the other holes. And we'll put it over here somewhere. So first things first, we're gonna wipe her down and make sure everything looks good, which it does. Nothing's brand new here, you know. So there we go. So now we'll put our gloves on because I don't want to get dirty hands and we'll start installing some studs. Don't get me wrong, I like dirty hands, but not today. So let's turn this thing a little sideways here so you can see what's really going on. Aw, oh, dick. Aw, oh, cocks. Oh, off. Should have turned it, Jim. Tell us all up by turning it. Friggin' right I did. So we'll grab our ARP stud install mint kit right there and we'll give the heads a blow job. Well, we'll give the holes a blow job. Ooh. Nice air compressor, eh? That thing's louder than cock it is. That's why I wasn't talking. So as you can see what I'm doing right now is I'm installing the head studs with the ARP Ultra Torque Fastener Assembly Lube. So we're just throwing them in the block. I am going to grab a Allen key to turn them in just because my hands are dicked if I keep turning like that. But they feel pretty good for the most part. These only have to be in there. Actually you can put these in hand tight they say but I put them in and then just give them a little, just a little one. So there's that. We won't put that away because we're going to need it still. We're gonna grab an Allen key, whichever the frick I do with it. I had it out, but now it's gone. It's probably in my walk. Just gonna cock it right over. Frick, where'd you go? Hope I didn't drop it in the goddamn block, Captain. Oh, God. Thought I said it there, but it could be wrong. We're gonna have to find that. We'll do a good block search after. So we'll turn these in until they get to the bottom. Nice and easy and gentle, eh? Now, I don't know if you noticed when you're putting the ARP stud bolts in, the two shorter ones go on the outside edges. There you go. That's in. So now what I'm gonna do is wipe the cylinder walls out, give her a crank job. This is wiping them out right now real quick because we got lots of oil in. 
Well, I know the rings are sealing because the oil's been sitting in there for like three weeks and it's still in there. So I know that there's, the rings are still good. I'll give it a quick crank over. I don't hear any Allen keys or wrenches in the way. I see camshaft turning. So we're good. So we're gonna use these gaskets here. 0 0.55 gaskets for it. This says front, so it goes this way. But before we do that, like I said, I bought some copper spray and I'm gonna spray them. Now so I'm gonna take them all apart and spray each individual one, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna spray this side, just a little coat. I'll turn around, there you go, Jim. That's all I'm doing. So we'll slap this on, because it's nice and sticky right now. There we go, make sure that's seated down, perfect. So let's get the other one on, and then the head gaskets will be ready to go, you know? Now these are cheap gaskets, they're not a GM gasket. I know a lot of you are gonna comment down below and say, why'd you cheap out on gaskets? Well, I didn't really, because I didn't know. I end up getting the Brian Tooley racing gasket, and they come in and they're knockoffs. So I get the Brian Tooley knockoff gaskets. So just be careful of that because I don't know how they're getting away with it, but they are. But I looked over them pretty good and they seem to be okay. So I'm gonna go with them and we'll, only time will tell. Once we slap the boost to it, if we blow a head gasket out, well, hey, we'll just have to pull the head gasket back off and put another gasket in. But until then, I'm not gonna worry about it, Captain. I'm just gonna put some extra lubricants on it. Next are sealant compounds. Nice even coat. Look at that. So we'll slap this one on. Front goes to front. Just like that. Oh yeah, that one went on nice. There we go. So now we gotta find the head with one dowel. I left one dowel in the head so I knew which side went to what. So we'll slap this head on. There we go. I'm gonna come over and we're gonna put both heads on right now so they're ready to go. There we go. And I'm gonna get my tray out that I can set these in so I don't lose them. Now when you're doing this, make sure you don't drop any. If you know what I'm saying. Let's get these rockers out of the way. That way we can get into the head here a little better. I will get you in the angle of the dangle here in a sec, so hang tight. We'll get the washers on. So while we're doing this, I would, I'm gonna put a little dab on each nut as well before I put it on the stud. That way it makes me feel better and I know it's gonna be threaded all the way through it. Man, they're going on noise. There we go, one, and we'll carry on. Feels good to know that I'm getting somewhere again because for a while there I wasn't doing nothing because there was nothing I could do. So this makes me feel a whole lot better seeing something go together. I like to keep a steady movement on stuff like this. Makes me feel better. I need a ratchet or something. This is too hard on the friggin' fingers. My fingers go to sleep so easy anymore, boys, girls, peoples. It's ridiculous. I don't know why that's easier, but it is. Probably because it's a bigger holder. Now I feel like I'm holding my packer instead of just a little pencil. That's what it is. Carol! See, my hands are going to sleep already. I can't even feel what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Next side. I'm gonna put the assembly lube on the nuts like I did on the last one because I think it was kind of pointless to do it the other way. Let's get these rockers out of the way. Now I'm not gonna lock tight the head bolts, of course, but I will be lock tight in my rocker arms. So anybody that says not to, I don't care. I'm gonna lock tight my rocker arms. Makes me feel better. It's just a blue lock tight, so they'll come off when I need them to come off. I don't need no rockers coming loose on me. Can you see? Probably not. Let me get a light. Rock you by snap on. If I can figure out how to turn the thing on again. Oh, it's on the nipple. There we go. Oh, careful. Oh yeah, we did. So we go washer, 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 washer. Washer, and that should be it for washers. Certainly is. So now we got, oh yeah. There we go. Those ones are on. Now I need my trusty ratchet to get the other ones on because I can't reach in there like you know. Oh, dick. What happened? Took my gloves off to move the camera for you and I forgot to put my gloves back on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now I know a lot of you are gonna comment down below that I'm doing this wrong, I'm doing that wrong. But it's okay, I know I'm doing Things different than you would do. I don't really care, to be honest with you. It's a bolt, you put it on, you tighten her down. If I'm putting a bolt on wrong and tighten it down wrong, then there's something wrong, Captain. I actually bump my compression up a tad what I'm doing. Not much, just a tad. So if I run her NA at first, she'll have some decent compression for us. So we actually can blow the tires off the van. It's gonna be awesome. So there we go, we got those just in snug. We'll snug these up 
And then we're going to go downstairs and get my sheets because I have some cheat sheets to do the Torx packages on it. I just wanted to get these heads on today because it makes me feel a whole lot better. I got to blow out all the push rods. Actually, you know what? I still got to clean the push rods so the rockers won't be going on today. All right, so those are on. We're going to pre-put on the small ones because we're here and we might as well. You can keep an eye on me, make sure I don't drop anything too. So that's kind of a good idea. Lube, 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 lube. All over my new nice clean heads. Why wouldn't I? Washer, 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 and washer. Oh my God. We can get rid of that now because we're done with that. We can get rid of this now because we're done with that. Oh, I don't even think I'm going to be able to do these with a standard. Oh, that's not good. God oh, dick. Cock right over we are. Oh, I'll have to torque these ones down after. We gotta get them torqued down now though because I got that spray gasket on, so it's gonna get torqued. That's for sure, but these ones we do last anyways, so. How do I not have friggin' 12 point sockets? My god, I have everything else but 12 point sockets. Careful! Brought to you by Snap On. Why wouldn't you? So I just downloaded torque spec sheets from the internet, which gives me all the different torque specs, so that's all I did. You can do the same if you want, or not. It's up to you guys. So the first one we want to do, 25 foot pounds. This one's only good to 50 and up. So we'll have to use the small one first. 25, eh? There we go. So let's get this thing down to 25. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we gotta go up to 50 pounds. Which we can use this one still, I think. Sure can. Oh God, I can't torque with this thing. Okay, you need to walk away from this ASAP. What? I need 12 points, boys. So we're gonna have to go and get some 12 points right now because I got the gas goop on. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video there, run out, grab myself some 12 points right now, and we'll come back and get these torqued up. So there we go, put that back to zero. Never forget to do that. All right, well, my neighbor Travis saved the day he did. So here we go, Captain. There we go. 50 on that side. There we go. Now we can move up to 70. This will be the final torque. Ooh, yeah, that's nice and tight, Jim. There we go. There's 70. Well, there we go. After a little bit of a panic, my neighbor pulled through, he did. So we got the heads torqued down, everything's good there, so now we'll let them set up. We'll put the rockers and stuff on maybe tomorrow after we clean up all the freaking push rods. So we'll do that together tomorrow and we'll install the rocker arms. And then we can put the valve covers back on. What do you think of that? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like below. Don't forget to tell me I'm an idiot for not having 12 points because how often do you need 12 points? Obviously when you're doing an engine build, eh? There you go. But love you all. Until next time, you know what to do for now.